this video, you'll get a closer look at the Buick Century 3rd generation. An overview, its origin, price range, and more. So stay tuned. The third generation Buick Century was manufactured from 1973 to 1977. It was mostly assembled in the US, and the three different assembly plants were located in Flint, Michigan, Framingham, Massachusetts, and Lakewood Heights, Georgia. Following a 15-year hiatus, the Buick Century logo was restored for the 1973 model year on the restyled rear-wheel drive intermediate A-body framework. At the same time, Skylark was removed as the name for Buick's mid-sized cars, and the Century Regal Coupe gained the position as the company's flagship line. It later became its own series dropping the Century moniker. It was available with two and four barrel Buick 350 engines that produced 150, 112 kilowatt, and 175 horsepower, 130 kilowatt respectively. The 455 model with 225 horsepower, 168 kilowatts was also an alternative. The base Century and Century 350 coups featured a fastback roof line with large rear quarter glass whereas the Century Luxus had a more proper notchback roofline with narrow opera windows. The Grand Sport performance feature was retained by the Century as a result of replacing the Skylark. The package, which was obtainable with any engine, included enhanced suspension, additional instrumentation, and a distinctive appearance treatment. The third generation Buick Century was designed in a rear wheel drive layout, and it was available in three boy styles. They are the two-door coupe, the four-door sedan, and the four-door station wagon. The four-barrel 350's output was elevated to 190 horsepower, thanks to the dual exhaust, 140 kilowatts. While the Stage 1's 455 efficiency was reduced due to emission regulations, output was competitive for the period at 270 horsepower, 201 kilowatts, 390 pound-feet, 529 newton meters. With the 350 engines, a Saginaw three-speed manual transmission was conventional. A Muncie M21 four-speed was obtainable with either a 350 or a regular 455, while a turbo Hydromatic 400 was required for stage one. The Luxus was rebranded as Century Custom in 1975. On coups and sedans, the new 110 horsepower, 82 kilowatt, 231 V6 was implemented as a standard equipment, together with the three-speed manual transmission, and the big block 455 was no longer active. The four-cylinder 350 V8 engine became regular on station wagons. A new carriage top was introduced for the club coups that partially covered the rear quarter glass, giving the vehicle an appearance similar to the formal roof Century Custom. A Century Special Coup with a flashback roofline was added to the lineup. The Special was advertised as the Century's economy variant, and it was only available with the V6 engine. When the United States government approved rectangle-shaped headlights in 1976, Buick incorporated them into the Century and positioned them on coups and stacked vertically on sedans. Sedans received a taller, more formal grille, while coups got an angled body-colored front end, as well as new body-side sheet metal that didn't have traditional sweep spear. The Grand Sport option was also dropped. The V6 engine was modified in 1977 to be even firing and a 401 cubic inch 6.6 .6 liter Oldsmobile V8 was added as a station wagon option. The third generation Buick Century was one of General Motors' most successful cars on the market. This is because there were almost 760,000 units manufactured during its production years, and this figure cuts across models like the Century, Lexus, Century 350, and Century Custom. The third generation Buick Century was priced at $3,000 at the time of production. Currently, it can go for prices ranging from $10,000 to $50,000 depending on the model. That's all for now guys, I'm sure you enjoyed this video, so give me a thumbs up, smack that like button, and hang tight for another classic video.